It's Wednesday, September 1st, 2010. I'm Jeff Bacalar, and it's time to get loaded. Apple's music event is today, and the first bombshell we can confirm is that Apple will live stream the event from Apple.com. Now, don't get too excited, though. Apple is promoting live HTTP streaming, so it will only work from Mac OS X Snow Leopard with Safari, and also iOS 3.0 devices or higher. Check back with CNET.com for analysis and video. In more Apple news, the Wall Street Journal is also reporting that Apple will begin 99 cent television show rentals with titles coming from Disney's ABC and News Corp's Fox. Other networks seem to be wary of Apple's plans, fearing that they will cannibalize lucrative DVD sales. And finally, Bloomberg is reporting that the highly anticipated next generation Apple TV will feature Netflix streaming service. Users will need to pay Netflix subscription fees, but the new Apple TV may retail for just $99. What's left of POM at HP seems to be determined to yet again be overshadowed by Apple. HP demoed WebOS 2.0, which has some nice new features, but seems to be more of an evolution rather than groundbreaking. The Stacks feature is an enhancement to WebOS's much-hailed card multitasking. Now common tasks will be grouped together. Universal Search is now just called Just Type, and Contact Synergy Syncing is now open to third parties, and phones will also have an exhibition mode when they're docked. Microsoft announced plans to release an updated Xbox 360 controller that features a transforming D-pad that can be raised and lowered just by twisting it. The new controller is white, gray, and black, and they're dropping the colored buttons from the original. The new controller will be released on November 9th and sell exclusively with Microsoft's Play and Charge Kit for $64.99. Finally, images of the T-Mobile G2 phone have leaked on the web. The G2 will be the first HSPA Plus phone in the U.S., and it comes in silver, which definitely seems to be a step up from the brown T-Mobile G1. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Jeff Bacalar for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.